What's up guys, Fabrizio Van Marciano here from vanmarciano.co. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and also Facebook at Van Marciano. Welcome to another quick Bricks Builder website design video tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the HTML tag span to create highlights to your heading elements and also your text elements or wherever you want to use them basically. And yeah, so we can uh, use the span tag to create some really interesting uh, effects with our text. So. We're gonna dive onto the screen and check that out shortly. Now, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. And if you enjoy them, feel free to subscribe and also click the notifications bell to get updates of future videos. All right, so this video is taken from my Complete Bricks Builder and WordPress website design video course. And if you're interested in checking that out and learning how to create or build a beautiful, responsive WordPress website with Bricks Builder, the most powerful uh, website builder tool for WordPress, in my opinion, of course, then I will have a link in the description for you to check that out. So enough waffling from me, let's dive straight onto the screen and get started. Hey guys, welcome back to the screencast. So in this very short tutorial, I wanna show you how to use the HTML tag span to add some special effects to your uh, text, either the background or the actual body of the text itself. Now, just to show you what I mean, let me head over to my front page of my website here at fabriziovanmarciano.com. Now, of course, I'm using Bricks Builder for this site as well. So as you can see, I have my main heading here, WordPress website design, but the made simple part of that heading has a different color altogether. Now, this is a gradient background color that's inside of the text. It's not actually the background, but inside of the text, if that makes sense. So if I just select it here, and I want to show you how I have this set up. So let me just uh, expand this a little bit here. So as you can see, under content and the heading editor here, I have my heading. But if you look very closely, I have the span tag inserted inside here. Now you can add a HTML inside of your editor or a text field rather in bricks. So I'm using span and I also have a class for this. You don't always need to add a class, but I have the span underscore heading for my class. And uh, it is that class that I'm styling to create this nice effect. So if I head over to, let me see, let me just select the class. Yeah. So if I head over to style now and CSS, I'll just show you here very quickly that this is the CSS that's actually affecting this style here made simple. So I'm using a, a RGB background gradient, a linear gradient at 90 degrees here. So I have several colors in here and I'm using the WebKit background clip to select text and the uh, text fill is transparent. If I were to remove this part here, let me just copy this because I don't want to uh, lose it. As you can see here now, the background color appears in the actual background of the text element and not inside of the text. So yeah, I'm just gonna paste this back in here and then save. So now let's do this to uh, one of the elements inside of our holiday booking website. So I'm gonna scroll down here to, um, where can I go? Okay, so exclusive villas. So let's try and repeat the same kind of effect for exclusive villas. I'm gonna select it here. I'm gonna select the class and uh, I'm going to add span between exclusive and villas. So at the start, I'm gonna add my HTML tag, S-P-A-N, and then after the villas, let's add a closing tag, span again. Okay, so let's just double check that and make sure everything's okay here. And then I'm gonna save this. And we haven't actually given this a class, but we don't always have to use a class. But since I want my kind of effect to only affect <laughs> this part of the heading, I'm going to give this a class. So I'm gonna add in here class, EXC maybe underscore heading, exclusive heading. So let me just double check this. Yep, everything's fine here. So now I can go to style and come down to CSS and add some CSS in here. So we were using EXC for our class, a single underscore heading. I'm just gonna go back to make sure that I didn't add a double underscore. Pretty sure, yeah, it was a single underscore. So here we go, let's go back in here and now add some CSS to affect just, oh, where are we? Yeah, just the exclusive villas. So add a little space here and we're gonna start with our background color. So in here, I'm going to add background color or actually we can just use background. It doesn't have to have color in there. And I'm gonna add my blue shade in here like so. Okay, as you can see here, we have our background color, but, but I'm not gonna use a gradient for this. Um, I'll show you how to do that in just a second using some pretty cool online tools. So we have our background color in here. And now what we need to do is add our web kits. So we're going to add web kit background fill, and this is going to be text. And then we're going to add web kit text 
fill, color, and that is going to be transparent. Okay, I think we made a mistake here somewhere. WebKit text fill, color, uh, yeah, background fill. <laughs> no, that's not right. That should be background clip. Here we go. So WebKit background clip text, WebKit text fill color transparent. And as you can see here, our text color here for exclusive villas inside of our heading has changed, okay? And yeah, so that's how easy it is to add the span HTML tag to add highlights to your text, either inside of the text or the background of the text. So if we were to remove this, of course, the color would only affect the background, okay? And we could probably use something like color for the text. We could go white. So yeah, just some options for you. Now, of course, if we wanted to add a gradient, let me just get rid of this here. And I'm going to add this back in, my WebKit back in here. Let me just save this here very quickly. Now, if you wanted to use some gradient, there's some really cool tools online that you can use. One of my favorite is the CSS gradient generator, which I have here on my screen. So here we can just add custom colors in here. You can add your hex codes for whatever colors you want to use, and you can add a percentage for wherever you want the color to stop. And then you can copy the CSS and paste it inside of your ESS field for whatever element that you want this to affect. So for example, let me just select this blue here, uh, for instance, and and then let's just copy this here. Let's go back to our editor and uh, let's paste it inside here to replace our background color here. And as you can see, we have our nice effect of dark blue that transitions into a lighter blue. So let me just minimize this if I can here so you can see this a little bit better. And yeah, so you can really experiment and create some really cool effects using the span tag and some gradient background effects and the WebKit as well. So what I recommend doing is just experimenting with a couple. You don't need to go to town with this and literally add it to every single element, but uh, it really does make uh, your headlines stand out if that's what you want to do. And as you can see here that I'm using on my website here. So yeah, I hope you find this little tutorial useful. And uh, so yeah, go ahead and experiment and see what you come up with. So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this little short video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not, then again, if you're brand new around here, don't forget to check out my other videos and uh, click that subscribe button and all the rest of it. If you wanna learn more about me and what I do, head over to my website at vanmarciano.co. And that is it, that's all I have for you in this video. So until the next one, take it easy and peace. Cheers.